If you want to go into blogging or become a content creator, it can be hard to choose a phone to start with. While you can use the smartphone you have now, it can be difficult to edit videos or even add stunning effects right. So why not make life easier with this device? This is the new Huawei Nova 10. It's one of the newest members of Huawei's Nova family, along with the Nova 10 Pro and the Nova 10 SE. So, join me as I show you how it can help jumpstart your vlogging or content creator career. What's up guys, this is Nico of Yugatech, and this is why the Huawei Nova 10 is your next ultimate vlogging camera phone. But before we begin, the Huawei Nova 10 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 chipset, it has 8GB of RAM, and comes with 256GB of storage. It runs on Huawei's MUI 12, and there's also a nice 6.67-inch OLED display, with a 2400 by 1080 resolution and a 120 hertz refresh rate. A 4000 mAh battery with a 66 watt fast charging ensures you have enough power for continuous video recording. But the main highlight of this device is its camera. If you're an up and coming vlogger and content creator, you'll definitely be excited about this. At the back, you have a triple camera setup that consists of a 50 megapixel ultra vision main, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel depth. This is Huawei's flagship grade RYYB color filter array that replaces the green pixels in the sensor with yellow pixels, increasing light intake by 40%. Camera light sensitivity supports up to ISO 400,000, which effectively improves the imaging performance in low light shooting for taking clear night shots with rich details. This enables the Huawei Nova 10 to take night shots with bright and dark details. Meanwhile, the front camera is a 60 megapixel ultra wide, the first of its kind, perfect for taking selfie videos for your upcoming content. Aside from the hardware, this device has some serious camera software to match. In the camera app, we have here all the stuff you'll need, like the photo, panoramic, night, and even pro mode for the photographers out there. But what makes it different from other devices is the video, vlog, and story creator modes, which we will be focusing on in this video. First, we got the video mode, which is their dedicated video feature that can capture and record a maximum of 4K at 30 frames per second, both front and rear cameras. Other video options include 1080p at 60fps and 720p at 60fps as well. What we love here is that it has a fill light feature that uses the flash as your light source when shooting. This is very helpful if you are in a situation where little to no light is available. The great thing here is that it works for both rear and front cameras. Other than that, it has this filter effect which you can see the color and effects in real time while you are shooting. Pretty nifty, right? Not only that, but it also has a beauty mode filter where if you want to have a slight smoothing effect on your skin or subject, you have that choice here as well. You just have to click this beauty icon button and choose from 1 to 10, which makes you feel the right texture for your videos. Now, if you're curious, here's what all the filters look like. Since this device has a triple rear camera setup, it comes with this mini slider at the bottom. You'll notice it has up to 1 times, up to 10 times. Basically, it switches the camera from a wide lens to a telephoto lens with just a click of a button. Now, here's a video where we utilize this feature. Now, we have the vlog mode. Let me show you that now by the way, it also has the zoom in and zoom out feature just like the video mode. The camera app also has the capability to pause while you are shooting, which you won't see if you're an iPhone user. Plus, you can continuously record while you switch to different modes on the fly, which is very convenient. But here you will see this menu where you can choose between lenses and effects. Here in the lenses tab, you will see these 5 modes when you click the up arrow. We got the rear, front, front rear split, then the rear rear view split, and last is the PIP or picture-in-picture -picture mode. Don't worry, we will show you all the mode outputs in just a bit. While on the effects tab, we got three modes to choose from. First is follow focus, then portrait video, and lastly, AI color. The rear camera of the Huawei Nova 10 also supports instant autofocus with QPD or quad phase detection. Basically, when taking photos or capturing videos of people, users can select the follow focus feature. When a single person is shown in the frame, the camera focus frame will automatically lock in the subject. If you have multiple parties in the frame, we can click on the main subject and when the camera focus frame turns yellow, the subject is now locked into view. The greater the difference in height, body shape, gender, and clothing color of the characters, the easier it is to identify the subject. And that's how the AI works behind the scenes. Don't worry, that's the computational power of the camera working behind the scenes without you knowing. The focus will intelligently follow the selected subject. Even if the subject is temporarily blocked for 6 seconds, 
The camera can still follow that subject when they reappear in front of the camera. Next is the portrait video, which makes portrait bokeh look more natural through advanced facial recognition and background bokeh algorithms. You can see how soft the depth behind the scene is in this shot. That's the beauty of the portrait video mode. Lastly, the AI color at first glance, you will see a black and white scene, but when you point the camera to your subject, the AI tech will automatically or, should I say, magically add color to that subject only. Take a look at this shot. If you are going to do this on a software editing tool, you'll be needing to mask, track, and even do it frame by frame in order to achieve this effect. But with the Huawei Nova 10, it can achieve it in real time without needing any additional tools. All you need is this device. Easy peasy. But you're probably asking what makes it different from the regular video mode I showed a while ago. Well, actually, by simply clicking this music note icon, here you can actually add music and choose from their pre-installed library. Just click Use on one of your chosen audio and it will now play back in the background for you to record the actual background music on top of your microphone audio without even doing any edits. Yep, that is direct while you are recording a video. Then, once you play back, you already have that baked into the video that you just recorded. Now, if you are a content creator, that is actually very powerful because on the fly, you can already imagine and see the output without you even going through your software editing tool on your computer. Also, another interesting feature in the rear rear mode is that it records the wide lens and main lens at the same time. With this, you can have one part of the video record a bigger area while the main cam also allows you to zoom in up to five times. Then, while recording, you can actually switch to front rear mode to record your reaction or if you want to do something with your audience. The last is pick in pick. This mode is great if you want to vlog since the selfie cam is only in a small frame, while the rear camera takes up most of the video. With this mode, it makes life easier since you can do travel vlogs or create other content without adding a separate video of you in Adobe Premiere or other video editing software. Usually, this takes a lot of time to do if you don't have any video editing experience. And just like the video mode, you can also have the filter and beauty features to add some effects to your content. Also, you will notice there is this button on the lower left corner showing the text normal. This button actually lets you record a slow-mo or speed ramp effect without even switching the camera mode. Usually, to achieve this effect, you need to either switch to the slow-mo mode or fast-forward a video. Which, by the way, if you're curious, this device also has that feature separately on the menu. But if you want to spice up your Instagram or TikTok feed, or want to put it to the next level, Story Creator Mode will be your favorite tool. This mode automatically creates nice montages for you, depending on the theme you've chosen. The Huawei Nova 10 Story Creator has 6 pre-built templates that you can follow. And from these templates, you'll be guided on what type of shots you can do because the output of the video will be based on that theme. The way it works is like this. Let's say you've selected a template. There will be multiple squares with a number. Inside those squares are actually the seconds it will record the footage for that part or scene. You can choose either of the boxes by clicking it, then it will show you a reference of that scene for you to replicate or as a reference for your shot. Rather than thinking about which modes, effects, and animation you'll use, the app will do it for you. While recording, you don't necessarily have to do it in sequence. You can actually press the boxes to whichever you want to shoot first. In case you missed the shot, don't worry. You can repeat the sequence by clicking the icon on the lower left to start over again for that part. But if you're already happy with your shot, just click the button on the right. As long as you complete all the parts of the template within the allotted time. Plus, you can actually save where you left off. In case, let's say you want to have multiple places for your travel vlogs, you can close the story creator and it'll prompt you to save it as a draft. Then, once you arrive at your next destination, you can resume where you left off. Now that's a great feature. Now, once you have completed all the parts, it will then automatically render the video just like what's in the preview, and voila! You have just created a professionally done video, just like the pros, in just a few minutes. But wait, here's a pro tip. If you want to have a portrait or landscape output video, here's how to do it. Simply tilt the phone while you're selecting the template. Once the UI has switched its orientation, that will be your expected output format. Now let me introduce Super Device. It is Huawei's proprietary IoT ecosystem and solution, meaning you can connect it to multiple Huawei devices seamlessly without you doing any technical stuff. Want to take a more creative video? If you have a Huawei Watch GT3 Pro, with the help of our Super Device, we can seamlessly pair and connect this watch to our Huawei Nova 10. You can actually use it as a remote shutter button while taking a photo or to start recording a video when you are on either of the video modes. This is very convenient if you are a one-man team during shooting. 
Let's say you want to put the phone further away to get a better scenery shot, then this feature is great for that scenario. Here's how to pair it to our devices. On our phone search for the health app, once the app is open, click devices at the bottom right portion and look for Parent Connect. If you're connecting it for the first time, make sure you have updated the watch to the latest firmware update to have the remote camera feature. Simply pair it via QR code and confirm it on your phone. Once connected, press the ring on your watch. Once it opens, it'll also open the camera app on your phone automatically. From here, we can do a remote time shutter or regular shutter button when in photo mode. And if you switch to any video mode, it will then be a trigger button for a start and stop recording. In addition to the camera, you can also take advantage of Huawei's super device functionality with the Nova 10. For example, you want to edit on a larger device like a tablet, or in this case, our Huawei laptop, the MateBook 16S. We could connect our phone using the super device by simply opening Huawei Control Panel Manager on this laptop. Then, look for super device, and on our phone, let's also do the same thing. Go to our navigation toggle, then click super device. Make sure the Bluetooth connection is on. Then, you will see here all the devices that you can connect to, which in our case, we have the laptop here. Just click that and it will prompt you to connect once done. We can now easily transfer files, just drag, drop, and then you're done. This is great for those who want to create videos on a laptop using a dedicated video editor, or just wanted a larger screen to edit and to have precise movement using a mouse and keyboard. At the same time, it's also a way for you to upload videos if your data isn't loading as fast. Okay, let me actually show you our process of doing this. What I'm going to do is select a template from the story creator and then shoot all the scenes, then transfer the final video going to our MateBook 16S. Then instead of me editing and adding additional TikTok animations on my phone, I will connect my phone to a super device so I can have a larger real estate to edit my video. And from there, I will upload the video to our Yugatech TikTok channel for you to see the final output. So, now that I've explained how to use the video functions of the Huawei Nova 10 and take advantage of super device, here's some videos I've created using the photo, video, vlog, and creative modes of this phone. I also have a video that was shot using only the new Nova 10 and edited on the MateBook. With that, enjoy this montage just to see how great the Nova 10 is for vlogging or content creation. And also, if you want to see the full sequence, just head to our TikTok channel. The link will be down below in the description. <music>
It's really nice and comfy. And uh, the, there's going to be only just one bed here. And the other bed will go there. So there's the air condition. And here, you can see it's really comfy. And the best part in this dome is there is a sun there where every morning we can see this kind of relaxing uh, area. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the, the second dome. But before I go there, this is actually our comfort room. So it's actually like a room inside there, but it's currently it's locked there. But soon I'm going to show you that. But here is the staff quarter or guest quarter. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so just imagine this. This setup is going to be the setup on the other side. Well, on the other side is going to be set up here. So we're going to uh, mix the two. All right, so here's the rear part. You can see we have our cabinet here. And we got the bed frame. Again, there's going to be a two bed frame here. And here's some of, of the few items that we're going to move on the other side. So we have a... Uh, celestial telescope there where we can view the stars here because every night actually it's pitch black and it's really nice to uh, view the stars and the moon so we can actually zoom in there and you can also notice that we have a curtain here which just imagine there's also going to be a curtain on the other side again there you can see that every morning it's actually really really relaxing and stretch reliever in this area so that's why we're really excited for the yuga campus so that's a quick update so i'm going to uh give you a tour once we have new updates and once uh the renovation and the uh, construction is done uh, because we i actually still have a surprise on the other side but i'm not going to show you first in this video so soon all right so now you've seen the power of mobile portable workflow if it weren't for this video, you probably wouldn't think that these were shot using only the new Nova 10. So if you're planning to become a content creator or start your vlogging channel, this might be a great tool to start. It can act as a stepping stone before eventually investing in bigger or better camera equipment. It won't break the bank too. If anything, you might just need to pair it with a phone gimbal and you can create even more beautiful content. Plus, the bonus of having the super device ecosystem makes the whole process easier. Not only in this scenario, but also the ease of integration with other Huawei devices like smart office devices, fitness and health, and even entertainment. With everything that we've said, what do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you learned something new. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you won't miss any of our future uploads. And also consider subscribing to our channel to watch more videos like this one. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Once again, this has been Nico from Yucatec and see you in our next video.